so we're going to do number two. And um, we're going to, they're comparing. So there's two samples, right? Where we have the CPMP and we have the traditional math. So it's asking us, can the, can the students with the CMP um, solve word problems better than traditional, okay? So if we think about that, we're, um, it doesn't ask us to construct, it doesn't ask us to interpret, it just asks us to find some stuff, right? So um, the first thing that we do need to do, though, is we do need to talk about an alpha level. Okay, because anytime they're asking you that, it's asking you to perform a significance test. You guys, if it was if it was a confidence interval, they would tell you they would have to give you the confidence level. They'd have to, or they would ask you what's the interval. They would ask you to construct or interpret the interval. But they because they're asking you, can they solve word problems better? That is a significance test. So what alpha level do we want to use? They don't give us one. What do we want to use? Yep, we're going to use 0.05. Now, we just need that. And now we're going to, um, in our calculators, we're going to do a test. So go to stat over to test. And this is a two sample t test. How you know it's a t test is because they gave you s of x and not sigma. They gave me stats, they did not give me data. My X bar one is what? 57.4. 57.4. And that's our CPMP, right? And then our S of X was 32.1. And our sample size was 320. Does that meet CLT, you guys? If this was a word problem, would that meet CLT? Yes. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter anything. That's a CLT problem. Okay, HST, um, HST, oh my God, Sam, um, mean to? 50 what? 3.9. And how many people? 273. Okay, now here we go. Is Mu1 is so mu one is the CPMP. So what they're saying, they're going to do better or worse than traditional. Better. better. So that means we want it to be greater. And do we pull? No. We never pull. And then we hit calculate. Okay. What two things are important here? Our test statistic and our p-value. Um, so if we look at our p-value compared to our alpha level, what would we say? Fail to we would fail to reject because our p-value is 0 0.08 and our, our alpha level was 0 0.05. So we would fail to reject at, at the 1% and at the 5%. So it didn't, like, not at the 10%, but at the 1% and the 5%, the two that we would pick most often, it, we would fail to reject it. That's what that question is asking us. Okay. Um, then number three is another interval. And you guys, to do a two-sample interval when it's asking you um, if there's evidence, the interval needs to contain, um, if the interval contains zero, if the interval contains zero, then there is not enough evidence of a difference. So let me say that again. If you ever are using a confidence interval for two sample means, um, if zero is contained in the interval, there is not enough evidence. Okay. And then um, number four is just another one like we just did, and they're asking you which one would be the which one would be the worst error um, based upon what what is the potential error type one or type two, and that's what you need to talk about. Okay.